Yo guys, I've got a spark which I'm going to use to ignite the fire for a brand new episode of Skyrim's Imaginator Soul Seeker series here on the channel. Now the gameplay is not full and new, this is in fact Imaginators and not Superchargers, but in Imaginators to complete some of the bonus objectives for 100% completion, you need to uh, get first place on 12 unique tracks. Luckily there's 12 tracks exactly, so that is what we have been doing for, uh, between this and the previous episode. So now, based on the few victories we had in the previous episode, we have uh, six more tracks to uh, co uh, complete our glorious victory upon, and we are doing this on hard difficulty for the tracks to correlate with the fact that we're also playing through the mainline Imaginator story on hard difficulty as well so far is going so good we've just uh lost twice to frozen fossil uh festival already so we're going to be saving that track for last hopefully i can redeem myself and finally garner that first place position but for now we're starting things off we're kicking it off with clock rock another one of the best tracks in this game if i was to say so myself but astro blast committing murder against me that is uncool dude so uncool What's also one call is me missing all of the shortcuts. Stop missing the shortcuts. That's a bit silly, me missing all of the shortcuts, don't you think? More shortcuts and merrier. More is more. Not the opposite of that. Less is more. No, never. Less is never more. That's not quite how less works. So, here we go. We're in third place. Second place, even, going into the next lap. Luckily, this is one of the short tracks, so feeling this would be too much of a big deal. I wouldn't lose too much uh, time from it. Yes, we have now been transported to the future of Skylands via the clock itself. Pretty cool, that. Ha ha! Get out of here, Astro Blast! Get out of Oh, shit. Well, that's karma. <laughs> Talk about perfect timing. Okay, so, as futuristic and as cool as the Sunrunner looks, we're gonna just commit mur uh, murder against it anyway. Despite what I said earlier about it being not cool, because I am a hippogriff. Not a hypocrite, a hippogriff, apparently. <laughs> Harry Potter just got me talking. What can I say? In the previous episode, I was talking about my uh, Griffin Tor traits. Griffin Tor? What is a Griffin Tor? Certainly not a Harry Potter term, I'll tell you that. But the reason why uh, Harry Potter's got my tongue today is because I recently got the platinum for Hogwarts Legacy. And whilst the game definitely had its tedious moments and the game is in desperate need of some quality of life improvements, um, but it's still a fantastic game all the same. I just kind of wish it had stuff like, uh, for example, more clear objectives as well as um, a way to fast travel out of caves that you've completed already. The fact that you need to go back into caves for collectibles and then um, you can get lost inside the caves because you can't even access a map. But then on top of that, um, you've already beat the cave, so why can't you fast travel immediately out of it? You've grabbed the collectible. So I've grabbed the collectible already. Why can't I just fast travel out of the cave? It's just... Uh, inconvenient uh, level le level design. Uh, small quality of life improvements like that that I'm hoping are made for the sequel. But man, there's so many collectibles in that game. 600 uh, collectibles. Well, more than that even. And it took me uh, 50 hours in the end to get uh, to acquire the platinum trophy. But boy, was it worth it. Why? Because I get that 15 seconds of adrenaline when it pops, and then after that I just kind of like, uh, I, I return to my boring life. After that 15 second rush from the trophy popping on the top right hand corner of the screen. I'm going to feel that same way when I get the Superchargers Platinum, because I still don't have the Superchargers Platinum yet, which is strange, because I often like go hunting for Platinum trophies specifically. I love Platinum hunting. So not having acquired a Platinum for every Skylanders game, is a little weird, I will say, especially given how much I love these games. Anyway, this time around, we're actually going to take the shortcut, the shortcut I've been forgetting to take for the past few laps. But as you can tell, that shortcut, it is overpowered. We're about to win this uh, race. No trouble whatsoever. I almost feel sorry for the opponents that we absolutely fast right there, especially that guy, uh, Quincy. He was so far behind us, but without further ado, let's go on ahead and claim the fruits of our labor. And in, uh, in this case, those fruits are going to come in the form of triple crowns. Without further ado, let's get on to the next racetrack, which is going to be the Temple of Arcus, of course. Yeah, I am glad that was splitting these up uh, between doing a sea race, then a land race, then a uh, sea race. You know, if I did all sky races in one chunk, then all sea races in one chunk, boy, would that... Uh, drag quickly at least this way i'm chopping things up and keeping things uh fresh consistently right there 
die. Thank you. As you shall receive an order. Oh, I'm going to do the same for this fella right now. Boom! Got your Gasper. And I run immediately <laughs> into a wall. What can I say? That wall was just calling me. I couldn't help but run into that wall. It seemed only right. Oh, that fella's going to die. Told you so. And I really need to learn about the drift button. That would be great. I'm supposed to be good at these kind of games. Mario Kart and Party I'm very good at. So you'd think those skills would uh, translate over. But apparently not. That is the worst place to die because you spawn right back at the start of a jump again. Wait, what? How am I just low on health again? I only just died. This game is rude. Shark Shirt Terrifying is rude. So rude. Okay, I need a uh, catch of items. Perfect, I got a bullet bill. I mean, uh, rocket ram. Okay, um. Boom! Got ya, Balthazar. Ooh, Balthazar. Reminds me of a dis uh, Despicable Me for a uh, free villain that does. Because every Despicable Me really needed a different villain, apparently. Even though they got the villain perfect in the first one, so why not just have Vector return for all the films? Granted, there isn't very many animated franchises with uh, reoccurring villains. I can't even name one off the top of my head. You know, most animated films, when there's multiple installments, they have a different villain uh, per film. You know, there's only stories uh, like, for example, Harry Potter, to go back to uh, my Harry Potter tour. You know, that is a reoccurring villain. Voldemort is very much the overarching villain. Skarnas does technically have the overarching villain. Obviously, Chaos returns every game, but Darkness is teased for like four games straight leading up to superchargers and then when we get it in superchargers it's a little underwarm and I can't lie to you. But anyway, uh, this isn't superchargers right now despite us playing racing, uh, this is imaginations instead which is even more underwarm than superchargers which is saying a lot because superchargers was already pretty overwhelming to begin with. That is the brake button, not the drift button. It's a drift button in Mario Kart which is what was getting me confused there. Okay, let's just continue running into every single wall I can find. I'm on a mission, a mission to run into every wall possible in this game. How quickly can you run into every wall in the sky as Imaginators Racing? That would make an interesting video title. Okay, let's go, we've got to get out of here because we're still only in third place. Let's drift around the corner this time. Oh yeah, that's how you take that corner correctly right there. Okay, stop hitting me, pretty please. Okay, cool. Spitfire's down, which is great, but we still need to get his uh, compadre there. Stop hitting me! So rude still. No! I didn't know you could do that! Oh, for God's sake, we're going to have to restart this because Trigger Abbey's practically already won. So that's the first time we're going to have a loss on a land race, but it didn't help that my luck was really against me. That's an also the fact that I drove into every single wall I could find. That also didn't help me out very much. So without further ado, let's uh, skip this and uh, let's hope that second time will be the charm. Man, I'm sure it's a good thing that Skarners aren't defeated when they lose a race, because otherwise I would have lost so many of Imaginators with this. Well, Sensei's I should say specifically, but I, what I mean when I say Imaginators is characters that come from Imaginators. You know, characters whose souls can be seeked out in this game. Wow, thank you for nothing, you use this invisible wall. Okay, here we go. Let's go to the left a little bit. I can't believe this is DLC in Superchargers. Like, come on, man. This track is not nearly as good as the other land racing ones. This is by far the weakest land racing track. Oh, Spitfire. Now, that's just rude. That is not okay. I'm going to commit revenge now. Ha 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 ha! It doesn't feel good, does it, there, Spitfire? Anyway, I could have done with a bit more of a tight drift there, but in the end it still worked out, so we'll take what we're given, I suppose. See ya, rollerball! I wouldn't want to be ya! <laughs> You're in a tough spot right now, to say the least, so let's uh, grab ourselves some of that goodness right there. Spitfire has uh, been defeated by us. Cool, I guess? Anyway, we now have infinite boost, so let's take advantage of that whilst we can. Sweet! Not cool, uh, time twister. Not cool at all. So once again, we're actually going to go from the inside uh, back to the inside again because that is how we get tighter lines. As you saw right now, I went from the inside uh, and I slowly uh, started drifting toward the outside again because I didn't quite have the angle right on the line. Okay, that will take. It wasn't a great racing line, but it's one that we're just going to have to deal with. And it wasn't the worst line either, so in other words, it could have uh, ended much worse than it did. Oh, but that right there, that was the perfect racing line. Took that nice and tight. 
Okay, let's grab all of these along the way. Sweet, but we aren't looking great in health right now, which is not very promising. Not very promising at all. Ooh, but that's uh, much more promising right now. Boom, hit the boost pad. Oh boy, but now we're being attacked. And the Piggy Spiggy's definitely going to drain all my health. Never mind, I'm going to go into the final lap with 53 health, which is not the place you want to be uh, going into the final lap, especially when Spitfire is going to attack you like he just did. So rude. There's no point wasting our energy yet, while Spitfire has a shield. But now that his shields are down, it's time for my revenge. <laughs> anyway, I really need to get used to making that drift a lot sooner, because that turn just comes out of left field every time. Oh, watch out for the monkey paw. There we go. Let's try and take this line nice and tight again. That was a bit too tight, actually. The line was a bit too good, to say the least. But hey, we killed uh, Shark Shark Terrapin on the jump, which is the best place to get him, because on the jump sets them the furthest most back. And we still have plenty of health going into the last stretch of the level, so we should be alright this time around. It's funny how I hit less walls this time, and I... I pretty much have won already, so actual skill correlated to a victory. Who could have seen that come in? Man, who knew that it took being good at the video game to get good results? Plot twist for century that right there. So without further ado, let's claim our crowds because clearly we don't have, uh, don't have enough of them already. Let's press the X button and I will see you at the next racing track without further ado. Okay, it is time for Tropic Thunder because there's only two more sea races left to complete and as I said earlier, we are saving uh, Frozen Fossil Festival for uh, the end of the episode, which is why we're tackling this one first. Uh, there's pretty much only one left after, uh, after the fact. At least for the sea terrain it is, and luckily for me it's my favourite one of the sea terrain besides the Frozen Fossil Festival. It's annoying how my favourite sea racing track has also been the one that's caused us the most trouble thus far. But that's due to its lack of uh, free lap structure, because it's a long track with checkpoints as opposed to reappearing laps. It's harder to get used to the racing lines that Frozen Festival um, kind of demands from you. You know, it's harder to mesmerise the whole thing. And I ran into that wall on purpose. It's all part of my uh, signature plan right here. That and also I had an itchy nose. So whilst itching that nose, I uh, wasn't in control of my vehicle. Yeah, let's pop down a bit. Sweet! Oh, that's some boosting right there. But we're going to try and take this as sharp as possible. Because if we remain on the right-hand side, we can gain access to this neat little shortcut. Let's go, baby! Let's go! Oh, I do like me that shortcut right there. That's a very convenient uh, shortcut, to say the least. Uh, same with the fact that whilst taking that shortcut, that guy got ahead of me, so I suppose it would imply that it's not really that much of a shortcut. Oh, but this definitely is, and it's right at the end of the track as well, so perfect place for a shortcut to take home those last second victories. Okay, boom, let's uh, get ourselves launched over here with a mighty that speed panel! Oh. Boom, boom, oh he shocketh the room, oh yeah, and it, hey, oh, that's perfect, I think this exact scenario, because people are going to continue trying to attack me, and it's not going to work out for them, because, uh, you know, they can't deal no damage to me whilst my shields are up, convenient, that's very convenient, okay, let's uh, not grab one of those items, apparently, but at least I don't run into all this time, took a whole lot of skill to get there, but we got there all the same. Oh, you bet we got there, alright. So, here we go, let's be boosting off again. And let's do it again, for good measure, because we can, so I will. Okay, let's get under here, whilst we regenerate ourselves up, because that means that those guys can't attack in the process. Ha! <laughs> Sweet. And we're going to go for right again, because those are just lines that come naturally to me. These are the lines I'm best at and most knowledgeable upon, so, you know, we're not going to take any risks here by taking routes I'm less familiar with. Well, we are going to go left here, because left seems to be a much, much quicker route. So after we go to the left, we want to go back to right again, because taking this uh, from the right angle is definitely the better angle to take it from, because otherwise we're going to run smack into that wall and lose the ships in a momentum, which is not what we want. Hey, there we go. I love how uh, bumpy this course gets. It really does suit the floating mechanics of the sea vehicles quite well, which is why I wish more racing tracks in this game was like this one. So let's bop under there, grab ourselves some of those canisters, uh, bop our top on the ceiling, but this is a shortcut in of itself that I completely forgot about until now. Oh man, not cheeky speaky. 
anything but Tiki Speaky. Oh, but we're miles ahead. We should be all right, even with another Tiki Speaky coming to drain us of all our health we have left. I mean, look at that. You can even tell that Pop is attempting to rubber band, but his rubber band in nature just is, is inferior to mine. Okay, here we go. Let's take that nice and tight. I wish I hit some boost powers along the way, but unfortunately the game doesn't care about what I want, as per the norm, just to make a change. So let's boost on over here. Boost on over there. Yeah, and do some more boost. We conduct the boost protocol. Well, this is definitely the perfect time to get shields then. If Tiki Speaky is going to come and commit murder against us, that's just great. Not the best place to lose all our momentum, but that's what we have both for Might of a boost panel and a shortcut for easy first place victory. That shortcut at the end of a race is a lifesaver, especially since it seems as though the AI don't even take it. So without further ado, let's claim ourselves three more crowns for the collection. Without further ado, let's move on to the final sky racing track of the video. Okay, so here we are at Cloud Cuckoo's Nest. Not only the final uh, sky racing track of the episode, but this is the last uh, sky racing track we're going to have to tackle for the entirety of the series here, mind you. So that's great, that is. It's not so great as this guy speeding off before I have a chance to murder him. Not cool, fella. Not cool at all right now. My apologies, my throat is rather hoarse right now. This is what I get for recording a long-ass session such as this one. And do I plan on stopping recordings for these episodes anytime soon? Ha <laughs> ha! No. No, I do not. We're going to be recording uh, all the way through tonight because already for me it's half past nine uh, recording this. And I'm not going to be stopping anytime soon. I want to have a nice uh, bulky recording session so that then I have plenty of episodes in advance to uh, draw upon for my future uploads. And then if I have uh, obviously episodes already uh, pre-made then I don't need to worry about missing uh, weeks like I have done in the past. So let's be grabbing that right there. Do not mind if we do, my friends. Do not mind if we do. I'm going to miss the items, though, because once again, I was a little too busy itching my nose. That's what I get for playing this during allergy season. <laughs> my hay fever is really kicking in, uh, and it's real nasty right now. Okay, apparently we can and can't attack those at the same time, because when I tried to attack that first one, the game was like, Ha! Nope! But all the other ones were okay, apparently, as I continue to itch my nose and not have any control over my vehicular unit. Not awesome. Not awesome, you stupid human body for being so incredibly human. How dare I be human and conduct human bodily functions. How very, very foolish of me as a foolish human fool. Okay, so these guys have got to go. Yeah, that's part of why my uh, voice sounds like it does. It's uh, my allergies acting up. But it's nothing that I can't power through. The end of the day, I'm used to these allergies. I have lived with them my whole life. Surprise, surprise. Okay, here we go. Let's try and maintain a nice tight line. So tight, in fact, I'm going to bump the bottom wall and lose all my momentum. Because obviously that's the quickest way of doing things. Per my logic, it certainly is. And my logic is just... It, it's impeccable. It's perfection at hand. You know, how could it be anything but that? Ooh, but I do like myself that wing boot boost right there, which is a fun thing to try and say five times faster. Wing boot boost, wing boot boost, wing boot boost, wing boot boost, wing boot boost. <laughs> that is a lot harder than it sounds. At least to me it is, because my tongue often gets quite tied. Not cool, man! Gasper! Dude! Yeah, once again, some of these uh, are okay being attacked, and others, not so much, apparently. Okay, let's take out the Buzzwing right now. Yeah, Philippide is out of here, it's official. Ooh, we take those. Not there's anything in front of us to even target uh, with our missiles, but missiles are cool, so we're going to fire them off anyway. Okay, watch out for basically everything, because anything that can kill me will kill me. And that would be inconvenient, to say the least. I could say more, I'm just not, which is why the least is being said all the same. Okay, I do like the fact that, because these are obviously sky vehicles, so they can uh, drive not only from side to side, but up and down as well. So these uh, racers take advantage of that. Uh, they have a lateral scope. You can uh, race upwards and downwards as well as left and right, unlike what the other vehicles uh, limit. Obviously, the sea vehicles can dive in the water, but the sea racing tracks don't take as much advantage of diving in the water as what the sky racing tracks do of going up and down. 
You know, another reason why I prefer the Sky Racing tracks. Oh, I want it, I want it. Thank you, video game. Not th Thank you, not thank you. Don't think that could have gotten any worse, actually. Okay, just going to have to rely on uh, decent lines going through here, because at the moment, this is a really close race. I really don't like how close this is. I prefer having a little bit more space for my victory, so it will be guaranteed I missed the boost. Don't! Overtake me at the last minute. Thank you for not overtaking me at the last minute. That could have ended so much worse. But luckily for us, we now have uh, triple crowns on our final Sky Race to be tackling. So without further ado, let's let those spawn in. And now that I've done such a thing, I'm going to press the X button and I will see you for the next racetrack. Okay, it's time for the after party without further redo. Let's be uh, attempting at least to get this perfect boost. Boom! No attempt necessary. It was a complete and absolute success to say the least. Okay, those guys aren't dead yet, but trust me. Ha <laughs> ha They will be. Told you so. I got Barnaby. Barnaby had it coming for looking at me funny. But man, I cannot take that drift very well, can I? I really need something with uh, tighter drift lines, which I thought the... Uh, Burn cycle possessed, but apparently not. I thought wrong. Oh man, Quincy, not cool there, fella. Not cool at all. Let's pop through here. Try not to run straight into one of those pillars. It's just going to ruin all momentum in one fell swoop. Oh yes, that's awesome. Don't mind if we do with that boost panel right there. Or well, that boost, I should say, from the item specifically, because the wing boot acts just like a mushroom from Mario Kart. One in which is activated automatically because unlike Mario Kart, you don't get to choose when you use lines of power-ups. And I think that's because it'd be too broken. If you could choose when to use, say, a Sky Iron Shield, then you'd hold on to it and use it when Ritiki Speaky is active. Okay, let's drift a little. Ah oh, man, yeah, speaking of which, this is Tiki Speaky, and because I can't use the Sky Iron Shield if and when I choose, uh, I had no Sky Iron Shield at the time to boot, you see? Oh wow, Trick Happy's uh, coming in with his explosive barrels right there, but luckily for me, I have explosive stuff of my own. Yeah, take that, Trigger Happy. Alright, let's continue boosting on for it. Yeah, don't get too used to seeing the classic Supercharged characters, because obviously this is pretty much the only time in the entire series where we're going to be seeing them, because we can't play as them throughout this series. We can't seek out this soul in their series as they come from a different game and all that. Okay, let's be taking that. Don't mind if we do. And with some infinite boost right here, um, we have lots to take advantage off of, and that would have been a perfect last lap. Unfortunately, that being the last lap is something uh, too much to ask for. Ooh, but perfect energy isn't something too much to ask for, because that's what we've got already. Okay, sweet. Not so sweet. That's a bit rude there, Monty, don't you think? And now I get Sky and Shield. It's a bit late for that, don't you think? Okay, let's drop down to the boost below. Wow, Trigger Happy's barrels really uh, screw me over there. And they're screwing me over again. Stop it! Get some help! Yes, we got him. About damn time is what I'm thinking right now. So let's take this drift. Bit late for that, don't you think? Okay, let's focus on that guy because he's about to go down. Okay, cool, he's gone down. Take him down at last minute. Sweet, okay, let's go. First place. Easy first place, sweet. And it was on our first attempt as well. We cut it close. But in the end, it doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. Winning is winning. Now, I will see you guys for the final track of the series. Okay, so it's time at long last for my redemption on Frozen Fossil Festival, because third time is the charm, as they say. That, my friends, is a good start. We need more of that. Yes, please. Oh, get back here, fellas! Think you can dive away from me that easily? Haha, <laughs> you think wrong. Get him! Get him! Get him some more. Well, I'm not going to be getting the ice, apparently, because they take forever to respawn! Ooh, speed. A uh, nice little bit of speed boosting right there. But why do all of the diamond sections in this level work so gosh darn poorly? And yet here I am continuing to use them all the same. I'm doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result every time. Not like that makes me insane or anything. So let's hit that item box because it's kind of hard to miss it when I'm in first place and there's no one ahead of me stealing them. 
open monsters. But let's continue on. Continue on. For its own uh, like Donkey Kong. Let's hit that uh, right there. Sweet. That's exactly what we need. Some more shields to boot. Oh, I'm going to run straight into that ice. Or not. I'm going to run into the wall of ice or whatever. Oh, but we needed uh, to regenerate our shields bad. So I'm glad uh, that I can repeat when it did. So that line wasn't the best I've ever took, but I did at least manage to avoid uh, being attacked, so the more health I have, the better, especially when uh, Nightfall seems to be right on my ass right now, and I don't much appreciate that. Less of Nightfall, the better. As they say, less is more. And by they, I mean me. That's what I just said. My mouth opened and words came out, so that's exactly what saying stuff means. Anyway, this time we're going to take a different route, because obviously the route I have been taking throughout the other attempts uh, hasn't been uh, as successful as I would like. Oh yeah, that's more like it. This route is way quicker, especially with the lack of a need to dive, because the diving is really what screwed me over those uh, other times, with how much momentum I lost, um, and how bad the camera angle is. So now all i got to do is uh, stick it in first place for the last few turns of the track. Usually it's impossible for me to catch up with other people uh, during this section of the track, so I'm hoping it's going to be the same for my opponents here, unless Nightfall kills me. In which case, I'll be very, very upset. I'm also upset about hitting that wall. But it doesn't even matter! I was way too close at the end, but we'll take it. I want to see how close uh, the results are. Apparently, they're not giving me a time for dive drop, so who's even say how close it was? Especially given that Nightfall is in fourth, and I'm pretty sure Nightfall is the one who killed me in there. But none of this stuff even matters, because we got first place, we got our final few crowns. Without further ado, let's continue on and head... Um, back to the MAP where we can finally claim our rewards. Hopefully we've got uh, plenty lying in wait for Tri-Tip over here. Apparently we're going to get super uh, experienced orbs, but that's not very useful for characters already at level 20. So here we are. What do we have is the question. First things first, we have <laughs> lots and lots of common pieces. So some Bark Stars. Is this 12 specifically for every race we just tackled? That's a good question, but Mr. Bear, you can't go wrong with Mr. Bear right now. So, dog is uh, a completion upon the fossil set, which is fantastic. It's about damn time we completed that, got ourselves that back back to boot. Uh, some Doom Man the legs, uh, a bazooka weapon, a baby torso for the baby set, because that's exactly what, or what I want to be able to create a baby character. A baby character with Lobstars Ninja Stars right there. I think uh, what I just described is absolute perfection. So we got ourselves a mummy chest, a tail, a zigzag tail at that, then a source for weapon, small staff, that's what we need, we need small staffs, uh, lots of experience which is going to waste, but the treasure on the other hand is going to a good cause at that, so yeah, just how much money did uh, try to earn, I'm well aware of where I need to go, but that's something we're going to be saving uh, for the next episode, but we are at least going to make our way over there for the moment being. Sorry, but surely we're making our way there. Unfortunately, Tritip is not the quickest most character, but we might as well wait whilst we wait for all of this um, treasure to add up. It's still going! <laughs> Man, that hour of gameplay has at least resulted in some sort of um, reward for Tritip, that is. It would have been uh, more wise for me to have used that on a character who's obviously not fully upgraded, but I did not have the hindsight to uh, plan that out, did I? So let's instead take on this surprise attack whilst, once again, my uh, treasure continues to keep going up. Okay, let's take out these fools some more. Oh, really? That's what you're going to do? Get over here. Boom! Take them out in one fell swoop. Finally, our treasure has finished adding up, and we're all the way up to 11,000 gold. Man, that is mighty right there. So once we've killed these fellows, we can garner ourselves yet another magnet chest, which would be fan flipping fantastic. This certainly isn't the quickest way in which to farm a magnet chest, though, so... Um, it's, it's still going to take us a while to complete that part of the Soul Seeker series. That part of the Soul Seeker series alone is why this series is going to be about 80 episodes long, and that's not even an, an exaggeration at that. Boom! Those guys are out of here, and finally we've claimed ourselves uh, some Imaginite. Which is much needed. I really needed a refresher after all of that uh, vehicle combat. So it's nice to have some traditional combat uh, thrown into the mix to spice things up a bit. And our Imaginite is going to be a common piece. Some brand new arms for Gothic arms. Which are part of the vampire set. Which we've now completed. That is fan-flipping-tastic. But on that note, 
it is time out for you to roll that outro, but not until uh, not until after I do one more battle. Up. I cannot, in good conscience, end of this video without first thanking all of my incredible channel members whose continued support helped make these videos possible. Without them, these videos would be near impossible to make, so from the bottom of my heart, I truly appreciate every last one of them. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, there are plenty of options on screen now to explore, and please consider subscribing to keep up to date with all my content. On that note, this video is coming to an end, so thank you so much as always for watching. Until the next video arises, Peace.